<laughs> Blight drones. Blight drones are demon engines commonly used by followers of the Chaos God Nurgle, particularly the Death Guard, a hideous amalgam of insect larvae, machinery, and demon engines. Light drones are equipped with rapid-fire autocannons and a mole-like apparatus capable of spitting out toxic and acidic fluids that can eat through both metal and flesh in seconds. Light drones prefer to operate in swarms and are drawn to battlefields with large numbers of dead. Although they were first encountered during the Siege of Frax, Light drones have since been used by the Purge Chaos Space Marines during the Chaos Invasion of Greya, and during the 13th Black Crusade. Blood Throne The Blood Throne of Khorne is a demonic chariot ridden by the demons of Khorne, an echo of the mighty Deus in which Khorne himself resides. These demon engines can strike down all who stand in its way. The Blood Throne is piloted by the Bloodletters, and upon its throne sits a mighty herald of corn. The Blood Throne is a mark of status, a manifestation of corn's favor toward his minions. If the herald who drives the chariot stands high enough in the Blood God's favor, then the blessing of corn will spread from the throne, and with it a portion of corn's wrath. This sensation flows through the veins of nearby demons, driving them into a frenzy. Goodbye. Blight Drones Blight Drones are demon engines commonly used by followers of the Chaos God Nurgle, particularly the Death Guard, a hideous amalgam of insect larvae, machinery, and demon engines. 
Light drones are equipped with rapid-fire autocannons and a mole-like apparatus capable of spitting out toxic and acidic fluids that can eat through both metal and flesh in seconds. Light drones prefer to operate in swarms and are drawn to battlefields with large numbers of dead. Although they were first encountered during the Siege of Frax, Light drones have since been used by the Purge Chaos Space Marines. During the Chaos Invasion of Greya, and during the 13th Black Crusade. Blood Throne The Blood Throne of Khorne is a demonic chariot ridden by the demons of Khorne. An echo of the mighty Deus in which Khorne himself resides. These demon engines can strike down all who stand in its way. The Blood Throne is piloted by the Bloodletters. And upon its throne sits a mighty herald of corn. The blood throne is a mark of status, a manifestation of corn's favor toward his minions. If the herald who drives the chariot stands high enough in the blood god's favor, then the blessing of corn will spread from the throne, and with it a portion of corn's wrath. This sensation flows through the veins of nearby demons driving them into a frenzy. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, hello. Stop! Okie dokie.
Krishna's journey to Mathura. Kansa sent Akura to fetch Krishna and Balarama from Gokul, where Nanda, Yashoda, along with the people of Gokul, bade them a tearful goodbye. As their chariot approached the banks of the Yamuna, Akura decided to refresh himself. Suddenly, he saw the figures of Krishna and Balarama emerge from the deep waters. Seeing this, he was confused and looked at the chariot where he saw the brothers sleeping. On looking back into the river, he saw a beautiful vision of Krishna in the form of Lord Vishnu sleeping on Sheshna. After some time, the curved body of the snake turned into the stunning form of Balarama. Akura was overjoyed as he understood that Krishna and Balarama had shown him their true forms. The honest girl, Vikram, put Betal on his shoulders. Betal started a new story. A king wanted his son to marry the princess of the neighboring kingdom. He asked him to disguise himself as a merchant and find out if she loved someone else. The prince went to the kingdom and stayed at an inn, but he fell ill. The innkeeper's beautiful daughter looked after him. The prince fell in love with her, but he wanted to fulfill his task. He told her, the prince of the neighboring kingdom is my friend. He wants to marry the princess. Ask her if she loves someone else. When the innkeeper's daughter asked the princess, she said that she didn't love anyone else. The girl came to know that the merchant was really the prince. To marry the prince, she could have told him that the princess was in love with someone else, but she told him the truth. Betel said, Vikram, did the prince marry the girl? Vikram replied, yes, because she had been honest. Betel said, that is the right answer, but you spoke, so here I go. Venus. Once a newlywed young man called Vinod went to his in-law's house to pick his wife Seema, and bring her back to his own house. His in-laws were very superstitious and said that the planet Venus, the planet of love, was not in the sky, and therefore, it was not a suitable time for the couple to start their married life. But Vinod was adamant. He thought that he knew best and refused to listen to their advice. Soon, he set off for home with his wife. The journey was very long and tiring. Hardly had the couple left the town, then their bullet cart broke down and their bullocks got injured. They had no other option and continued their journey on foot. Further on, some robbers attacked them and stole all their money and Seema's precious ornaments. They somehow managed to save their lives and escape from the robbers. Before they reached their destination, Vinod fell very ill and they couldn't continue on their journey home. When Vinod's parents came to know what had happened, they asked him to return to his in-law's house with Seema and come back with her when Venus rises. 
Vinod realized his mistake. He did as his parents told him and went back to his in-law's house and waited there for an opportune time to come back to his own house. Thereafter, Vinod and Seema lived a happy married life. Krishna kills Vyomasura. Vyomasura was the son of the demon Maya. He had acquired great magical powers. He had an evil eye and wanted to steal the coward friends of Krishna. One day, while Krishna and his friends were playing in the fields, Vyomasura disguised himself as another coward and appeared before them. One by one, he started abducting Krishna's friends. Seeing his men disappear, Krishna grew curious. Then he spotted a coward who looked different from the rest. Krishna realized that something was amiss. He went up to the boy and grabbed his collar. Fearing an attack from Krishna, Vyomasura instantly changed himself into a big, big monster. As Vyomasura's size grew, Krishna grabbed his feet, lifted him up and threw him to the ground with full force and killed him. 